Hey guys, so I'm back with another webcam quality video, um, but I didn't want to um, get my camera out, look for my memory card, because I have no idea where it is, and I just got really white all of a sudden, um, and edit, so this just kind of goes straight up to YouTube, makes my life so much easier. I'm sorry about the quality, um, but I just want to do a review for you. Um, so, this is kind of the most expensive mascara I've ever bought in my life. Um, I've never really tried anything, um, like any other, like, department store makeup, other than, like, MAC mascaras and Estee Lauder. Actually, wait, that's not true. I just realized I got the Estee Lauder, uh, Volumes Color, something or another. I got the bright blue one. Um, so that was $23, and this was $20. This is the Bourgeois, um, Bourgeois, Bourgeois, Bourgeois? I'm French and I can't speak it. Um, Bourgeois, 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 I don't know. Uh, voluminizer, mascara. Um, this is the two-step one. Um, I'm pretty sure this is one of the best mascaras I've ever used in my life. I'm not gonna lie. Um... I did have an obsession with the Revlon um, Grow Luscious Mascara. Oh, my nose is really itchy. And um, the brush on that is huge, but it just lengthens um, really well. But this does both. Um, the first step, um, um, it, this is the lengthening one. The thing I don't like about this mascara is how thin this wand is. I don't know how to even show you, but it is the skinniest mascara wand I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I just feel like it's just going to break. Um, I just don't like how thin it is. It just makes me feel very awkward when I'm holding it because it's just so small. And then this is the volumizing brush. It is thicker. Oh my god, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god! I didn't even know that! Okay, that is so freaky. Okay, hold on. <laughs> weirdest thing of my life just happened, okay. This is weird. I didn't even realize how it worked. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I saw. So I'm just going to start by showing you the second step. This is the volumizing brush, and it comes like that blocky thing in there that's supposed to take off all the extra I don't think it works like there is an overload of grossness happening over here like it is so thick and clumpy and I have to wipe off so much and then there's like this nasty like yeah can you see that it looks like tar so this is what happens it's so weird just watch this I'm taking the the first step out and it's just kind of like wee, and it just like magically disappears and now it's like Oh, that's so weird. I am so confused right now. <laughs> so apparently the brush is the same size, just the one is covered in grossness. And now I have like this overload of grossness on the top of my mascara. Sorry, my phone is ringing and I don't know who it is. <laughs> oh, they're like harassing me. Well, my family, but whatever. So, there is just so much excess mascara in this thing. It is actually ridiculous. Um, that's the one, th no, it's like the few things that I really don't like about this. Like, I have to push this in through here again and watch. When I take it out, all that stuff that I push through is going to be on my wand. It's going to be disgusting. It's like overload of grossness. But, so apparently the brush is the same size. Um... It doesn't say that the first one, like the first step lengthens, but that's what I find. Um, I think it, I find that it works better if you use an eyelash curler. Um, I have an Avon one and it's not the best thing in the world, but um, I just started getting into that whole like eyelash curler thing. I never use it. I don't know why, but I think this mascara definitely works better once you've curled your eyelashes. Um, it is very good but the whole like weird thing happening 
let us watch that kind of just turned me off of this mascara. I don't know why. It was just really awkward and weird. Um, I kind of, I didn't even f figure that it was one brush and then it just kind of like goes through something. I don't know why for the life of me I thought it was two, but then that totally wouldn't even make sense. Um, but yeah, I don't like how big this thing is. Like, this, like the top one, if it went this skinny all the way down, it'd be fine because that's like a normal size of a mascara. But this thing is like freaking huge. It's like a freaking jumbo marker thingy. Like, this thing is ridiculously huge. That's what the packaging looks like. And it's upside down. And then step two, and then step one, and then it like shows you the back and how awesome it is. I don't know. Um, I've been wearing it like pretty much for the last week because I've just been wanting to try it out so then I can review it for you, just so it's a fair video. Um, but otherwise. Huh, worth $20. That's the thing that gets me. That's more than a MAC mascara. This is better than any MAC mascara I've ever tried. But, um, if you want a close one, like a close mascara to this, like a, not a dupe because nothing can be the same as this because it has two wands and it's just whatever. All well, one wand, same difference, whatever. <laughs> um,. The Revlon Grow Luscious. Like, I'm always going to go back to that mascara. I love that mascara. The only problem I find with that is it dries up kind of fast. And it's like, on shoppers, it's normally on sale for $8. And sometimes it's like $12 originally. Which isn't bad because I really like that stuff. And I'm supporting a company that doesn't do animal testing. Um, which makes me really happy. And this is the first product that I bought that I don't know if they do animal testing or not. That's my only problem. So I need to do some research. And then I'll let you guys know. Um, I should have another video up. I'm probably going to do another review. So stay tuned for that. I'll talk to you guys soon. Merry Christmas.